Yeah, g'day YouTubers, uh, Spanner Man again here with another video. We're going to do another review of this Jolly Evo Chainsaw Grinder. I've had it for over a year now, and it's interesting, you know, looking at the reviews that people write. Some people try and tell you that this scale is a bit inaccurate, this scale here is a bit inaccurate, this is the uh, top plate uh, cutting angle. And even on the vice on the other side, the graduation, some people are saying, oh, you know, they're not accurate. Anyway, look, I've used this digital angle gauge to check angles, and I've zeroed it as best as, uh, and leveled this. This is level anyway. So if we use the gauge on the wheel, I think you're going to find out, look at that, 59.6. So it depends where you measure on the wheel because the wheel's sometimes not perfect, but it's pretty spot on. As you can see, 59 degrees, but depends how that sits. So if that's sitting out, and, and depends how you adjust it, because if I loosen this knob at the back, and then I try and line up the marks. I could be half a degree out on the mark. So, you know, just to try and line it up a bit better than that. Look, that, that looks like that's pretty good. So we'll just check that again. <laughs> Look at that, 60.3, 60.2. Look, it doesn't get much better than that as far as I'm concerned. I think you probably agree with me that the markings on the back here are pretty spot on. So... That was me 60 degree mark here. So 60 degrees is where I normally leave it at. I don't sort of grind at any other angle. That's pretty much the angle that I use. So yeah, look, it's, as I said, it's pretty spot on. Look at that, 60. Look, that, that's excellent. That's perfect. And I've actually measured these angles here as well with a protractor. So, you know, this is a protractor here. So I've used a protractor and that protractor's laser etched. So it would be so accurate. And I've taken this vice out and measured from underneath with these graduations. Spot on. Can't, can't find an error. Yeah, if it is, it's that marginal. It's not even worth worrying about. And it's the same on here. This is your 10 degrees uh, angle, or, your, or you can actually use it to line up your uh, grinding wheel to have it central. Like when you get a brand new wheel, it's pretty lined up. So what the idea is that you put that at zero degrees, uh, the guide bar, and you're trying to line up the center, the nut, dead level, here when you bring this down so the whole idea is you put a uh, a ruler or a straight edge on there and you can well generally you'll have to push that back maybe a degree at the most uh, it's not critical it's something uh, I guess it's because it's a precision grinder it has that feature on it now let's just say you went to one degree one degree so if we look at the scale let's just say that you went you were doing your, your wheel offset and you went one degree this way. When you have your 10 degrees downward tilt, well, then you'd go 11 degrees that way and nine degrees back that way. So you can use it for uh, both ways, for, for wheel offset and you can use it for 10 degrees downward tilt on a full chisel. On the more expensive grinders, you can get one. So this isn't the cheapest grinder. It's probably mid-range, but you can get the... On, on the higher model, it has the tilt mechanism built into it like this grinder. So this grinder only has the tilt mechanism so that you pull it forwards or pull it backwards for your 10 degrees downward tilt. You don't have no sliding vice. So the more expensive models have that tilt built in as well, as well as the sliding vice, which can be used purely just for the offset of the grinding wheel to make sure that it's perfectly in the center. So that's that part of it. So, and, and the other good feature that's on, one of the really nicest features that I like on the uh, Jolly Eva, it might sound like something that's simple, but uh, just having the switch on the front is actually really good because that just means that 
it's in easy reach, whereas on the other grinder, it's at the back. A lot of the grinders have their off and on switch on the back. Why, I don't know, but they do. The other thing is these pink wheels are okay. They're not the best. You're better off with the brown oxide wheels. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're much better. Uh, a lot of people like CBN wheels as well. The other thing is with the adjustment here, that when you do adjust this, uh, you've got a decent sized knob. It's easy to use. And this little knob here is controls the depth that the wheel comes down. So I'm going, I was grinding a chain and I'll just finish it off. So we'll just sort of go over that. So we're going to do this full chisel chain, which requires 10 degrees downward tilt. So it's a left-handed chain left-handed sorry it's not a left-handed chain it's a left-handed tooth on the chain so what we need to do is push left hand is the vice goes away from you towards the back so I just need to look down here and just set that at 10 degrees I'll just check that make sure it's oh, I needs a little bit more just loosen this gone too far Uh, that's about 10 degrees. So we set that at 10 degrees. We'll set this at 30. And we'll just pull our grinding wheel down and check. Put that in the position. Looks pretty good. Turn the grinder on. Just come around here so you can see. Might need a, uh, we'll just do a final check. Our 10 degrees is good, our 30 degrees is good. Just need to adjust this a little bit more, a little bit more. You just want this tapping motion. Off and on. I just want to check the tooth, make sure it's, it's okay. That yeah, it looks good. This is virtually the last grind for this tooth. It's almost down to the witness mark, so don't really want to push it. You'll find out that your grinding wheel starts to come very... Oh, that plate. Your grinding wheel starts to come very close to the edge of the plate. So you've got to be careful that you're not grinding that away. That's too hard. So you just got to be careful on that. If you hold the grinder, I'm just checking that. If you hold the grinder on the tooth for far, uh, too long, you'll find out that you'll turn it blue. So yeah, please avoid doing that. Just take your time and just got to get that right. right. Tooth's a little bit short. The other thing that I notice with this chain is that the link, there's a lot of wear in it. It's a little bit sloppy. Let's check that again. Needs a little bit more. It's got to go over a little bit. check that it's okay now the next one so it's just a matter of doing all the teeth taking your time don't bring the uh, grinding wheel down too hard just turn that off the other thing on this clamping mechanism is you've got this little plate here you see I've loosened it and both of the rails so they call it self-centering so not one side will clamp up both sides because this pulls the other rail 
And so you've got another cam here on this side plus this cam. So you've got two cams, this cam here and the bottom cam. So the bottom cam pulls this, uh, the uh, rail closest to my finger and this side locks that rail. So self-centering clamping mechanism. So overall, can't really fault the Jolly uh, Evo grind. It works good. As I said, you've seen me, I've checked all the angles. Uh, can't complain. Pretty spot on as far as I'm concerned. I've actually checked a few of the uh, chainsaw grinders that I've got and I haven't found any what you would call errors in the angles. There are people out there report angles that are wrong, but I'm just wondering what equipment that they're using. You've got to be very, very careful what equipment you use. Uh, if you're using cheap type equipment, you're liable to get errors. And I, I look, manufacturers would be using expensive equipment. They're not going to get that wrong. Uh, if you get in errors, it's most likely you're in. So I'm not saying that manufacturers never make mistakes, but it's highly unlikely that there'll be any errors in the graduations here and on, on the sliding vice. So I would sort of trust uh, the manufacturer that they've done the right thing. It's okay to check like I just did before, so and everything was fine. Look, thanks for watching. There's not much else I can say about uh, this unit here. The only thing you've got to be careful of that when your tooth gets down as much as what this is, getting close to the witness mark, the grinding wheel can come very, very close to this plate. You've got to make sure, and I've already got a very slight grind mark on one side, so you can damage these. If you do, they're only about bloody 8 or $10 to replace them, so pays to be a little bit careful anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed uh, that review and as far as i'm concerned it's a thumbs up as i said get yourself a good wheel these are just fairly cheap ones they're good enough for what i do but if you're a professional i'd get a cbn wheel or i would get a uh, brown oxide wheel which is even better than the pink anyway thanks for watching bye for now